I think he's the next iteration of Charles Barkley. I think that uh, he will adapt to the NBA very quickly. And then I think four or five years in, could be the best player in the NBA. Uh, I'm with you there. Uh, even though there's always anxiety when you talk about bully ball players, like with that type of body, uh, using a lot of their brute strength against players their age, but not as developed as them. Because when you get into the NBA, it's, it takes man strength beyond the weight room, and you got to have your man bones. But Zion Williamson really silences that anxiety when you look at his footwork and you look at what he can do outside even the painted areas. So I, I say he can't miss. He may not be the number one overall pick because his teammate, <laughs> R.J. Barrett, is next level as well. But can't miss. I'm with you. We lock on this one. I agree with you guys with that. Um, can't miss as far as this. The things that I see that translate, you hit on it, his footwork. Mm -hmm. That's going to translate to the next level. His strength, that's going to translate to the next. And his athletic ability. A lot of, the majority of his shots are coming into the paint real close, right there in the restricted area. But he can work on his game. But the thing that, that's a question for me is, he's 280 right now, right? Mm. When you get older, you naturally put on weight. Right. So if he naturally put on weight, where is he going to go? To 300? He's going to have to try to shed some of this weight because the way he plays at 300 pounds, I don't think his joints will be, or 280, continuous pounding on them joints at that weight, I think it's is not going to be good for him moving forward. But he's going to be able to get his jump shot off when he wants to because he's going to work on that because he's so strong. He's quick. He's going to be quicker than the guys that are guarding him, right. and he's going to be stronger than anybody that you try to switch on him that's quicker than him. So... I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out, and I, I think you have to – he's going to be a top three pick. My pick, though, from that team, I like Cam Reddish because hmm. shooting is where the NBA is going right now, and I think he's their best shooter. Let me – why I disagree with you and why I think he's the number one pick and why I think he'll be special that people aren't talking about, he plays the game with a passion and a joy that I think is uncommon. I think a lot of guys love the game of basketball but play it because they're really good at it. I think this dude has that little extra it quality factor, uh, an energy, a zest for the game that I think will make a difference. And I think the, it'll get the weight off of him, probably not in his first year, mm -hmm. but I, I think by his second, third year in the NBA, he will play at 260 and he'll be just fine. Well, I agree with that, that he'll play. He, he could still lose, but will he lose any strength if he loses his weight? That's one question that I, I would wonder. Um, is he going to gain quickness and maybe lose a little bit of his strength? Give and take, I don't think he'll be able to do both. Um, gain quickness and gain strength at the same time while he's losing weight. You know, especially he's been, he's been used to playing at this weight forever. So uh, he is infectious, though. The way he plays, everybody feeds off of him. And it doesn't necessarily have to be one of his monster crazy 360 dunks. It's block shots he's feeding. I mean, this, this kid can play basketball. That's the thing. He's just a freak of nature as far as his body. We've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I think Instagram agrees with both of y'all. Two million followers and growing. Uh, that means he's captivating. That means he's box office. You got to respect a guy like that. Um, Going through the process as we did, you know, from high school to college, and you're trying to work out, but it's a different, it's a different program. Like no matter how much you work out in college, it's a lot more effort, it's a lot more programming, but it's not necessarily precision. It's not necessarily the best thing for you. You get to the NBA, you get to the NFL, they're looking at you, and they're gonna work on that body. And if he takes it seriously, looks like he does, he's gonna be able to shed that weight because a lot of that is just, you know piece of hut downstairs in the dorm and stuff like that. <laughs> Baby fat. Baby fat. You know, <laughs> it just is. lifestyle still fat. still a teenager. Right. Yeah, so he's going to eat better, have more money, and take more focus on his body, and I think he's going to be All right, amazing. he said something else interesting last night, according to the Sporting News and some other places. Uh, Zion Williamson talking about Jay-Z mm. after the game and how excited he was that uh, Jay-Z was at the game. He called Jay-Z the goat of rappers, and I assume that uh, you two would have an opinion on that. Mm. Uh, agree with Zion. <laughs> and bear with us, audience. I'm just sorry. These guys, I know Marcellus and, and, and Eddie being from the Bay, I know y'all got an opinion. Jay-Z the GOAT? I mean, for longevity and consistent excellence, yeah. But it's kind of like the Kobe argument when you say that Kobe's the GOAT. All I say is, what year was Kobe the best player in the NBA and it wasn't a shared experience? What year was Jay-Z the best rapper and there was no question that he was? And I'm like, good luck finding that year. And if you do, how long did that last? So for me, it's weird. It's logically, how are you the GOAT, but you've never been the number one 
by yourself go. consistently. So I'm kind of with you. Like I'm, I'm with y'all that he's not the go. Well, we we kind of from the old school. We cut from the same cloth when we come when we come down to the hip hop game. But from this perspective, you can call him the goat. There's not been anybody in the rap game that has done what he has done yeah. as far as on and um, uh, on stage and off stage. Uh, things he's done with Duce, the uh, the title, all the money he's made. He's moving close to a B now, a billion, and that's all from hip hop. So if you look at it in that perspective, take that lane, he has to be the GOAT as far as the best rapper to come out and do the best with his platform that he had and make the most of his opportunities. Totally disagree with but you. But rapper whoa, wise, whoa. Well, rap, who made more money than Jay-Z? Yeah, he's rapper? gotta be the greatest. If yeah. You, all encompassing? Yeah, if you yeah. take everything. I thought Dr. Dre was a billionaire. Okay, I get But, he but not he's a rapper. rapper. He's a producer. He's a rapper. Producer. He's a producer. But we okay. said rapper. Okay, I get oh, you some. Hey, Dr. Dre is the greatest producer of all time. There no, you no, go. No, no, so no. he's a GOAT on that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does Jay Z have a better album than The Chronic? No. But is The Chronic <laughs> not Dr. Dre? Dr. Dre presents The Chronic with Snoop, with everybody corrupt, RBX, right. Daz. Like, good Lord. It wasn't like Dre was like, yo, let me hold it down by myself. Jay Z has done that. But, but I'm with you. If you want to say all Jay Z things- turns water into wine, man. Anybody he touches goes triple, Dre, quadruple. Dre, 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 Dre. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dre. Freudian slip. Yeah, that's Look at you. You got caught. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. there. <laughs> you right. Hey, for me, he's not my favorite rapper. That's Andre 3000 or Jerry Curl Ice Cube. You're like, it, it rock him. But Tupac, this, Big. Yeah, but Nas. He's Look, been consistent. We got to end excellent. on this note. What was that? We had our producers put together a list uh-huh. of the greatest rappers of all time. Yeah. And, and they need to be slapped, man. Oh, what yeah. What they got on Kanye's this? Kanye's not on this list. Kanye need to be on that list. <laughs> Kanye, Come on now. Kanye's not Lil on Wayne this list. Lil Wayne need to be on this list. I don't see Lil, oh, yeah, Lil, yeah, Lil Wayne. He's Lil Wayne. Kanye's not on this list. And can we please take Kanye, off? Kanye, uh, I apologize. <laughs> for our, for our yeah, we need Mac take... Dre at. We need some Mac <laughs> oh, Dre out here. Some Mac Dre wants some E40, man. Antonio Brown. <laughs>